Okay, it's time for quest for semi-rando LTTP randomizers tonight. We've swapped it up just a bit. Chosen a different sprite, but otherwise everything else is the same. Normal open, etc, etc, etc. We're gonna be a good old Sanic. Sanic the Hedgehog. Because we gotta go fast. <laughs> Sorry, this is a dumb pun. But maybe we can go faster than 21025, which is our current PB. Or normal open. I'd love to get a sub 2, but... Most of that's up to the RNG at this point. My execution is kind of flat, kind of stable. But, you know, maybe we can pull out some pretty good stuff tonight. So we'll, we'll see what happens in 3, 2, 1. Go, 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 go. Oh, man, that sprite's weird. Oh, my goodness, the hook shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The what? What is this? Why would they give me the hook shot straight out the gate? That seems silly. That seems a little silly. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, hmm. So now we've got a viable, whoops, tree pole first at eight, come on. We've got a viable sort of weapon now, single groups. Like straight away, that's amazing. see what uncle in this chest has for us. Oh, wow, a cool 300, holy shit. Uncle went to Vegas, came back loaded, and passed out in a sewer. Oopsie, I missed that, bro. Excuse me, fucker. Now we can use some bombs. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, that was almost too perfect. <laughs> a fucking good call out. All right, well we got roops, we got bombs, we got a hook shot. We got a mushroom. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, well, I mean, that's a great start, right? That's a pretty gosh dang good start. Oops, I'm gonna go up and check Lumberjack and all that shit. Standard route, probably from here on out, I would say. For the simple fact that we got everything we need for Kakariko. Well, most of what we need for Kakariko. Just by virtue of having money and bombs. Let's see what the crab's got today. Ah, uh, just hearts. Hearts from the crab. Oh man, that's right. <laughs> that's sprite though. Excellent. So, what could make this better is no Ega 1 required. Only three hundo on the Lumberjack Cave. So, that's good. That's a good initial sign. Aga 1 could still be required, we could still need to beat Aga for uh, Dark World access, but you know, here's hoping that uh, that's not in the cards tonight. Fucking bird. Oh, whoops, I forgot that was a crab instead of an actual bush. What we got there? Ooh, nice, alright. The last heart container. -na -na -na. Alright, so you can't hook onto the little mini trees, but you can hook onto the bushes and the big ass trees. Good info to have. Alright, what about in the Thieves' Den? A shield! Okay. You know what? Even if it's baby's first shield, we'll take it. We will take it. Alright, down to Kakariko we go. Birds, get out of my way. Nice. Alright. So we got we got to learn some sick movement tech with the hook shot. Just getting in early like this. Ouch. Is unusual but also awesome. Also, the item menu is looking uh, pretty clean. Pretty clean early on. All top row items. It's not all patchy. Bunch of the holes everywhere and shit like that, making the item into a nightmare to navigate, but... Alright, what do we got? We got 50 roops, 100 roops, a big 20, <laughs> and a heart container. Alright, you know, that's, that's pretty good. That's alright. I mean, it's not the best, mind you, but... And the blue male, holy shit. Well, what... Did that make Sonic a slightly darker shade of blue? <laughs> alright. You know what? That's fine, I guess. That's fine. I mean, I'll know. I'll know. <laughs> he is very slightly darker. That's funny, actually. Actually kind of hilarious. 
So we've already got Zora money, but uh, we'll be doing the whole bottle vendor. There's a big 20. What else we got here? A sword. Oh, wow. Four and a half minutes in, we got a sword. Beautiful. Another 50 roots. Piece of candy. And a bread meringue. All right. Okay. I mean, the sword itself is just fucking fine. Let's be honest with that. Bottle vendor has... Busy bams. Those are some expensive-ass bams. But that's alright. We actually kind of need them. needed them, so whatever. We, we still almost have enough for Zora, so great. Awesome. Chicken throw with Sanic. Yeah, good chicken throw. Ah, just a piece of candy. The old KFC here. No sick kid visit right away since no bottle, but what's behind the bar? A 300! Wow, they had a great night. And we are set for cash forever. Awesome. Alright, let's check the library, check the race game, be on our way to South Shore. Library has. Only busy bands. Okay. You know what? That's fine. Race game, however, has... Piece of candy. Alright. No race game, no library. To the south shore we go. Hit up the dam, hit up Mini Wormulon Cave. Hit up all sorts of nice places. It gives us what? Two, seven, eight, eight items? Oops, excuse me. Excuse me, Octorok, thank you. Oh, we can try to do the, the thing here. Cleared in one go. Yeah, nice. Ah, oh, only a fiver. That saves a uh, screen transition in and out. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like the Sonic Sprites. <laughs> it's really well done. Nothing but a big 20 under the water. Boo. Oh, okay. So it doesn't kill the crabs, but it does stun them. So that's good. <clears throat> Mini Wormulon Cave shouldn't pose any problems since we've got the hook a shot to. Use, uh, like, a bomb drop from these dudes or something, though? Wow. Oh, full magic. Okay. I to say, pretty fucking slim drops going on here. A bottle. Ooh, an empty bottle, too. Uh, another sword. Oh, my goodness. Full ass heart container. Sank heart. 20 roops and another full heart container. Wow. Getting stacked. Getting fucking stacked from Mini Wormulon Cave. Ridiculous. Just kind of ridiculous. Should we do? Should we even do the the fake flipper? Do we even want to bother breaking logic here? I mean, I guess we could. We don't have uh, moon pearls, so we can't water walk. Get the shit out of the wa waterfall of wishing, but we do have more than enough money for Zora. I guess we just S and Q out, maybe hit Sick Kid sooner rather than later. Maybe do front half escape. Oh my goodness, the power glove. <laughs> oh wow, that is opening up some shit for us, isn't it? Alright, front half escape, and then back half escape. <laughs> because holy balls, we are just getting loaded immediately. It's ridiculous. Uh, 
And I guess we go hit Sahash. Oops, excuse me, fuckos. It's a lot of gear to have, like, right away. Like, the only thing that could make this better. I know if I say it out loud, RNG will probably screw me in the end anyways. Is if we had Hammer. And then Moon Pearl. And then Lamp. I mean, I guess in either order, in any order of those, would be fucking fantastic. And Mirror. Mirror would be real nice, too. Piece of candy in the first one. We got two more. So, very front-loaded seed thus far. We've even got a, a fair amount of, um, fair amount of health, too. Not so good on the bomb count. Makes me a little worried, but that's alright. We'll pick up some more as we go. there. It's kind of disappointing, but what are you going to do? I guess after this, we S&Q out, go to Sanctuary, hit back half escape, and then S&Q again, hit Sahash. Because despite being pretty well loaded here, we don't have a lot that gets us into any dungeons. At least not by logic. I mean, we could conceivably go up to the mountain if I know how to navigate that dark room. Nothing but a big 20. Zelda's cell. Unfortunate. But we can try. We can try to do the navigation in the dark. I just need to scour my brain try to remember that room layout. We've kind of done it in reverse once. Oops. Shout out again. Some bombs. Huh? Oh, another full fucking magic drop. My goodness. Alright, what do we got here? He, burrito, and big 20. Alright, so kinda worthless. Kinda worthless. Let's uh, hit the closet behind Sahash here and see what he's got for us. And I guess we can try to go up the mountain, but, well, if we do manage to go up the mountain, we've got east side that we can handle since of, uh, because of, um, Hookshot. So that's probably our one incentive to try the, uh, the Death Mountain Approach Dark Room. But we'll see if any items we get from Sahash kind of change up our route. Big 20, bomb cap, and a fucking mushroom. All right, so that was kind of dumb. Uh, all right, I guess we go check Sick Kid first before we do anything kind of crazy. <clears throat> Don't want to leave that one kind of hanging in left field. Plus, we've got the mushroom drop we could do. Drop off some drugs and get something in return, you know? Also out of bombs, which I would probably grab a set from Kakarika before we go anywhere else. Might be a good play. Uh, I'll keep going south. Alright, sick kid, what she got? What she got? What are you giving to us for uh, an empty bottle that we delivered? Only an arrow cap. What a shit. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Good to see ya. It's a new version of Sam's you haven't seen yet. Well, I mean, I guess it is blue, right? I was actually kind of surprised Sonic was in the list. So I'm like, yep, we'll give that a go. We'll give that a go. All right, we got some bombs. Um, 
let's try. Let's try the darkroom navigation. I mean, it's technically out of logic at this point, but we might get some really cool shit. Just might. I'm gonna try to try to do this in a cool way, but who knows? <clears throat> His feet spin when you sprint. I don't know. I don't have the boots yet, but we will find out. I would guess not, since uh, the sprite I don't really think changes when he goes into the dash state, but... Yeah, maybe. Maybe they put that in. Alright, so this is going to be a bit of a trick now. So we jump down. We gotta go down, right, down, up, this way. Oh wow, we actually did it. I think we've got the old man with us too, so that's good. Down, right, and of follow it around, right? Up. Once we start moving there. Alright, I think we made it. Oh, and left, and then down again. Wow, alright, that was much easier than I thought it would be. Fucking great. <laughs> alright, we're up in the mountain. Nice. Busy bands from the old man? Not exactly worth it, but whatever. We here. That's good enough. <laughs> so, we won't be able to get what's up- ouch. What's up on top of Spectacle Rock. At least be able to see what it is. Then what's inside will probably not be worth much, but... RNG being what it is, it could be something very valuable. So up top, Spectacle Rock, we've got... Our container. All right, that's pretty okay, I guess. Inside is busy bands. All right, so not too important, but the value I'm coming over here really at this point is East Side Death Mountain. which could be value. There's a lot of items, so there's a good chance of value, but we're also kind of breaking the logic a little bit in so much as we shouldn't be able to come up here yet since we don't have lamp or flute. We shall see. So two here, five in the other cave. The groups and flippers. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, eight items because one in Spiral Cave. Arrow cap. The boots. Here we go. No, feet don't spin. That's unfortunate. Big 20. He's candy. And a fiver. All right. Well, the boots is certainly worth that. Certainly worth all that. Uh, I think I need to go one more pixel down. There we go. So that definitely gives us sonic speed. Well, gotta go fast. <laughs> no way, man. This sprite has been pretty generous to us. We're gonna, or not the sprite. The sea has been pretty generous to us. Uh, let's, uh, check what's on the island. Ten arrows, not really worth much. Spiral cave, we can go fast in because of boots. And now we can do the whole Zora play because fucking money and flippers. And hobo. And then Agana's cave, I suppose. Spiral Cave will have the car container. All right, well, you know, it's, it's something. It's something. It's probably Sanctuary would probably be the play at this point, right? All right, thank you. So drop off Mushroom, hit up Zora, Waterfall Wishing, Zora Ledge. Let's see what we got in any of those places. Although, technically, Waterfall Wishing and Zora Ledge are still out of logic since we broke logic to get the flippers and the boots. But hey, I ain't gonna argue about either of those pickups. It's 
pretty rad to me. Let's see what we can get out of this, if anything. Nothing but bombs. Alright, so not value, but I mean it gets it off of our off of our to-do list there. That's right, we can do bonk rocks too now. Bombs and ice rod. Ooh, okay. You know what? That's that's good. That's real good, since ice rod can be almost anywhere in the world, considering its use is only only one use to it, killing Trinex up in Turtle Rock. So I'm happy finding that early. We won't be digging for that later on. Oh, another shield on the ledge? We'll stop off for that. We'll stop off for of that for sure because this plastic shield isn't really doing much for us. It's blocking rocks and arrows, but no fireballs, no nothing else. All right, Zora got a oh, moon pearl. <laughs> oh wow! All right, that's really nice. That was still in logic for us. So moon pearls looking nice. Uh oh, wait. Master Sword puts us into Aga territory, although we don't have Lamp yet, so that's something. I guess we hit Bonk Rocks first. Oops. No. Bonk Rocks next to Sanctuary, and then we probably hit Hobo. Oops! Ah, oh, shit. Nice. No, we're not starting another one. <laughs> Oops. little trigger happy on my movements here. Gotta go fast. Technically, this is still out of logic, too, because of uh, boots up on Death Mountain. And like so, that was kind of worthless. Just a piece of candy. <clears throat> so, it looks like it's either Agana's Cave or... I haven't even checked the map yet. That crystal, crystal, crystal. Ooh, five sixes are both in Light World. And a normal crystal at Eastern. It's looking like Agana's Cave is probably the way to go. But I do kind of want to see what Hobo's got simply for the fact that he's out of the way. He's kind of a... F ouch. <clears throat> it's kind of a fetch quest at this point. Simply for the fact that flippers were up on Death Mountain. Uh, looks like we got a bottle on Lake Hylia Island. What you got for us today? What is your jam? A fiver. Gee, thanks. Found some pocket change somebody threw over the edge. Alright, well, leave us a whole heck of a lot else. Stag in his cave and then, um, Eastern. I'm probably gonna regret going to Agonist Cave first, since Eastern has the greater amount of items, but. We're kind of really at a standstill as to where we can go. Despite having all this cool-ass gear, there's really not much we can do with it. This 
suppose we could check the ledge before we go as well. Probably nothing of value, but you never know. I've seen Titan's bits on there, I've seen Hookshot, I've seen Hammer, I've seen pretty much everything over there. I'm gonna, today you have for us a 20 rupee. Thanks, bro. Get us a meal, I guess. All right, check ledge, then we S and Q back to house, I guess. Oop. Ledge has 20 roots. All right, so we have cleared pretty much the entirety of overworld now. Or light world overworld that we can get to. <clears throat> so off to Eastern. So Eastern will have lamp or bow or both. Possibly a mirror, a book. I'm actually kind of hoping for, not really a book, but... <clears throat> uh, we already did Sahash, that's right. Bow would be nice. Bow would be real nice at this point. be real good. Mirror mirror and lamp would both be also excellent. Wow, nice. Very clean run up there. There's a lamp. Alright. We can proceed. That puts Ega 1 on our radar, which is unfortunate, but that might be our ticket to Dark World. And considering the amount of life we've got, that might not be a bad ticket. Just waste kind of six or seven minutes getting up there. That's key, alright. Hoping for Bo so we can knock out Eastern right away. Honestly, sequence breaking up to Death Mountain early was probably a good play. Simply for the fact that we won't have to go back there <clears throat> to get the Master Sword. Oops, that was kind of silly. I shouldn't have done that. In order to go fight Aga to get into the Dark World, we've already got the shit that we need. Busy Bams. Two. <clears throat> Excuse me. And oh, ho, ho, ho. the Titans mitts. My goodness. All right. Well, that saves us from having to go Ega. Now we can go pretty much anywhere. My goodness. Uh. All right. Well. Let's go Dark World. Dark World through Kakariko, I would say, probably the best bet. Although now we can do Dark Side East Death Mountain. Which has a whole bunch of items on its own. But we'll check a few kind of <clears throat> kind of silly places first. There's another hard container for us. That's pretty useful. Before we hit Dark World. That does that does look weird having Sonic run with his feet staying very much in place there. Oh well. Small 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 mistakes. Small mistakes. Alright, to Dark World by 29 minutes. No crystals yet, but that's alright. What are we dealing with here? Oh, Thieves Town is a red pendant. That's unfortunate. It's the other pendant. Oh, Turtle Rock is the other pendant. All right. Everything else is a crystal. 
Ice and Meyer both are crystals. That kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Dang it, I don't like Thieves Town being a pendant. So I usually full clear it anyways, but whatever. Got a fiver in the fucking chest game. Thanks for nothing, bruh. Walk off the door. See house will have for us tonight. The book! We have gained literacy. Hedgehog knows how to read. The old busted down shack. Eh? Nothing but a 20. Alright, well, we're in the neighborhood. We may as well at least get first four. On Thieves Town. <clears throat> Could yield us up to up to three items. One of them absolutely has to be the big key. Alright, now up to two items. <laughs> big twenty is one of them. Boo. Fortunate. Usually this is a pretty quick clear anyways. Alright, what what is he as the as the bunny? Die! <laughs> it's Mario. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Oh, the red mail. Oh, now we're super sanic. Alright. That's cool. <clears throat> this will be the big key, right? <laughs> Wow, pretty early red mail. I'm kind of surprised. Pixel on this, probably not. That's a little bit too far to the left. Fire bar, please. <laughs> Fuck out my way. fight should be pretty easy. We've got a lot of health. We've got the fire shield. Ouch. No hammer to check the bottom chest, which is making me a little nervous, but maybe we won't need to. Turtle Rock not required means that Ice Rod was not required, but uh, just in case we needed it. It's a candy. Alright. <clears throat> That's item number three. So that puts us in a 50-50 chance that Blind has the last item. I miscounted my items again, which certainly could happen. Oh, he said his vision, nice. Good blind joke. 
Ah, you bastard. Alright, it's three. Alright, reasonable blind fight. Not great by any stretch, but reasonable. What's he got? Damn it! Ah, the last item is in the big chest. Fuck us. Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Unfortunately, we can't really go to Skullwoods just yet, but we'll come back to that later. Kind of hit the rest of our Dark World Grand Tour. Oh wait, I don't want to do that just yet. I don't think we would be able to do the digging game. A piece of candy. All right, Stumpy, Pipe Cave, and I guess Dark Side Death Mountain, or we could hit the uh, pyramid on the way through. Pyramid and Catfish. Again, even though we've got a lot of items, we really don't have a whole heck of a lot to do dungeons with. Although we could do desert. We are fully prepped to do, de to do desert, and since that's a 5-6 area, it would be a valuable place to go. Stumpy had a full heart container. It's very kind of him. Let's see if Hype Cave is hype today. Not very hype. It's not a good start. Kane O'Brien. Bombcat. Big ol' heart container. And ten arrows. Alright, not very hype. Not very hype today, Hype Cave. Not very hype today. Oh, and I can't even actually get around to that since I don't have the hammer. Can't get around that bridge. Alright, so I guess then we go... Go desert. We'll finish off desert. Well, we'll complete desert. We haven't even started. We'll complete desert, and then maybe do the last chest and escape. We'll have that hanging around all the time. Starting to become a, a bit of an odd route. We're running all over the place. Not really able to check many at a time because no mirror. We have everything necessary to complete dungeon. We've got a fire source. We've got a lift upgrade. <laughs> we've got the boots, so we can see what's on the torch. Or we can get what's on the torch if it's even valuable. May or may not be. took the right route through here. <laughs> Going to this side first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's on the torch. Big 20. Not worth of nothing. Oh, except we do need to hit the big chest first. Uh, what do we got? The burrito! Dang it. Alright, so Landmo will have the last item. Uh, we don't really have any heavy hitting weapons to deal with this. No bow, no fire rod. Ouch. So we're gonna have to do this kind of the, the stupid dumb vanilla way. We, we could try bombs, but. Eh. Be a lot of swinging of the sword. There's nothing good on the ledge either, so. Kind of a tepid desert. But this will get us our first crystal and one of the five sixers, so whatever. Can't complain too loudly about that. opportunities. Hmm. Alright, well, got lots of bombs. May as well give a give a couple shots to this. Alright, not the greatest. <laughs> Ass landmill fight I've had in a long time. But reasonable, I guess. He's nothing. <laughs> All that for a piece of candy. And a crystal. Bye bye, Landmo. There's crystal number one. There is desert. Alright, well, now what? I guess go up the mountain would probably be the best thing? Let's go check the. Um... Let's check the dark chest and escape, I guess. Then we'll go up the mountain. Yeah, I guess it will. Already got a key. Either way, if we came at it from the front side, we'd need a key. If we came at it from the back side, we'd need a key. Need the key off of this rat as well. Rats, really? Never know. This could be the hammer, this could be the bow. It is nothing but a 10 bomb cap. Dang it! Alright, well, I mean, we tried. We tried. So let's go up the mountain then. Or, oh shit, we, didn't even, we don't even need to go up the mountain. We just fucking appear there. Idiot. <clears throat> Surprise, we're here. East side Dark Death Mountain. Quite rich. 
eight items. Well, probably more than that, actually. Four, six, I get, no, like six or seven. Plus we can check what Turtle Rock needs, even though we don't necessarily need to go into Turtle Rock. Two super bunny chests here, the four in Hookshot Cave. Uh, I guess we could technically do Spiral Cave, or not Spiral Cave, Spike Cave as well. Very healthy. Oh, there's the Magic Cave, okay. That's, pu that's kind of pushing us towards uh, Spike Cave, honestly. Let's go check her rock very quickly here. What do we need? We need quick. A very vanilla turtle rock. It's candy. Nice. Wow. We are pretty gosh dang healthy here. Another piece of candy. The hammer. Oh, beautiful. All right. That opens a few things. Ouch. And another piece of candy. Okay, that opens up a lot. <laughs> that opens up Hera. Uh, that gets us over to Ether Tab. Excuse me, fellas. Um, yeah, actually, all this gets us a Spike Cave right now since we have no means to get back. Um, whatever, that's fine too. That's fine too. S and Q out to the uh, old man's cave and just be done with it. <laughs> Nothing but it's money. Uh, of course. Oh well. Oh well. Fortunately, we do need to take the long way around. We don't have the mirror, but that's fine. Whatever. I think that gets us the other five sixer. Like, right away. Which is fucking great. Because then we can do Pyramid and Double Chested Fairy right at once. squirrels, man. Always in your way. They don't do nothing for none, buddy. Except get in the way. Be a pain in the butt. It's a little bit more normal here. Let's uh, check ether before we go about this, though. Another three hundo. My goodness, we are not wanting for cash. Can squirrel get out of my way, asshole? All right, so. That's not the best. <laughs> that means we're probably going to basement right away. Unless we get the big key. Oh, the bow. The bow. Excellent. That, that gets us uh, into Eastern. And pod, actually. <clears throat> so 
So I'd almost be inclined to do pod first. Simply for the fact that if we find mirror in pod, we can mirror out due eastern immediately. Ah, oh, crap. I fucked this up a little bit. Now what? Well. I don't have any magic. <laughs> Derp. Ba -da -ba -da -dum, ba -da -da -da. We start time and energy walking upstairs like a sucker here. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know I could hit that from off screen. Alright, that's good. That's really nice. <laughs> Otherwise, I was gonna truck it downstairs again. So since we've got hookshot and boots, we don't need to bother doing the weird vanilla run around for the big chest. We can just go right up there, grab it. Big old 20. Oh, it's not even worth grabbing because that's both items. Beautiful. So Wormulon will not have anything for us. Big chest has either the compass or the map. The burrito. Oh, nice. Got a little scared there. Here's Wormulon. What does Wormulon have for us today? Ouch. One spin. Two spins. Three spins and he's gone. Fuck you, Wormulon. He will have the burrito probably, yep, of course. And crystal number dose for us. That is the last, the other five sixer. Now we are pretty clean and clear to go take care of the pyramid. Nothing else really in the light world to do, so let's get the fuck out of here. All the materials necessary to do pretty much all of the rest of the Dark World fetch questy bullshit. So let's do double chested fairy pyramid, maybe catfish, and then head into pod. Which is a normal crystal. If we get mirror inside there, we can mirror out and do eastern immediately. I think I've ever done double chested fairy before, at least an hour in. Fortunately, we don't have the egg of one shortcut, but between that and not having to waste six minutes on an Ega 1 fight. I'll take this. Double chested fairy for us today has the mirror and 50 roops. Oh, I'm pretty glad we came to do this first. All right. So pod and eastern back-to-back -back is a go. On pyramid we have a piece of candy, fuck that. Beautiful, fucking beautiful. All right, mirror also gets us into swamp, which is a fucking wonderland of items. So, pod eastern swamp. 
<laughs> wonder if technically we could do the seed without <laughs> fire rod since uh, Skull Woods is a green pendant. I'd prefer to have fire rod though. Or Ice Palace. Although we need either Fire Rod or Bombos to even get in there. So, we'll see what we can dig up here. Plus, we'll need to check uh, what Mire requires, although we'll need Flute for that. So, we're still a few items from Go Mode. Samaria, so Flute, whatever medallion opens up Mire, and either Fire Rod or Bombos. So at least three items, possibly more. But we're on good pace. We're on pretty good pace. Small ass key! These first three or four are usually small keys anyways. Got all the gear to kind of make this a quick pod experience. Boots and hookshot and hammer. Plus bow, of course. Nothing but the required. Big ass key. All right, that's good too. Means we won't have any issues otherwise. The silvers. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. All right, that's probably the best place they could have been at this point. Fucking excellent. Elmasaur will be a soft touch. Oops. Uh, fucking. Get out my face. Goop. Small ass key. <laughs> plus, that'll make the Vitries fight easy. Plus, no serverless Ganon. Oh man, a lot going in our favor now. Small ass key! Probably gonna find another one down here. Ready for it? Ready? 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 Small ass key! <laughs> oh man. That's funny. Alright, I don't want to burn a key going up the center thing, so we're gonna go down and around. Why is Sanic red? He's super Sanic! We've got the red, uh, we just picked up the red mail. This is the sprite for red mail Sanic, apparently. Which is actually kind of funny. And expected. <laughs> is this canon? What do you mean? Is it canon that, uh, Sonic's gonna fight Ganon? Probably not. But you know, whatever. Oops. Um, ah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, so you you mean if is this uh, canon for Sonic? Uh, Super Sonic certainly is canon. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That is a thing even from the very first game. Ah, can I get that, please? Thank you. 
am looking a little bit low on health. Oh, there's Busy the Bambos. So now we into Ice Palace. I mean, not great. I'd prefer to have uh, Fire Rod for that. I mean, that is a thing. <clears throat> Big 20, not exactly what I was looking for, but whatever. So we're almost into pretty much all the uh, places we need to go. Except for Meyer, we need Flute for that yet. And whatever medallion, of course. One in three chance that Bombos is it. Fucker. Need dinos. Like going fast, then you slow down so much it takes me out. Yeah, huh? A lot of people will agree with you, including me. The classic Sonics are great. Some of the newer Sonics are okay, because they kind of got that speed back. But some of like the kind of the in-between Sonics are kind of shitty. And some of them are real shitty. There's 50 Roots. And another small-ass key. Alright. There's a bomb cap. All right, that's all the items fit to print and pod. Hmm. Really like to have Cana Samaria at some point. At some point soon before we go down and do uh, Ice Palace, if at all possible. Because even though I think I've worked out the Ice Palace bomb jump, I'd rather not have to do it. <clears throat> Oops. Missed that shot. That's some Sonic game as a kid where you just ran down a tube in 3D the whole game. Uh, the whole game, huh? Uh, I know that's what the Sonic 2 bonus levels were, was kind of that front-on, collect rings in a tube type thing. I don't know if that was ever a whole game. Eh. But yeah, I, I'd certainly say Sonic 2 is one of the better classic ones, if not the best of the kind of the original trilogy, but whatever. <laughs> You're too old, right? Okay. Your mind is going, well, shit, what does that say about my mind? My mind is already gone, I suppose. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see ya. Oh, oh, the turtles. The turtles are coming to get me. <laughs> alright, three hearts going into Helmosaur. I think we'll be alright. We'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, nice. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is that enough? No. Seventeen. Seventeen? That's a weird ass count, isn't it? Ouch. Eat shit, Helmosaur. <laughs> hmm. And the compass, and crystal number three for us. Alright, we gain in time. We ain't gonna gain a whole lot on this next one, though, since we still need to... Well, I guess we just need to get through to Armos. Crystals 3 and 4 must be a popular, oops, popular double for uh, Pod and Eastern here. So we're not going to be concerned with any items, really. Sonic sounds kind of like Link. Take off, uh, or take off the mirror, just in case I manage to hit myself 
or managed to uh, finger slip and mirror back to the beginning of the dungeon, that would be no bueno. Quick Eastern. We'll be on our way probably down the swamp, I would say. And we could go do Eastern, or not Eastern, we could go do Ice right away. No, I'd really rather not without Samaria, but hell. If there's ever a time for shitty routing plays, now is that time. some backup arrows here, just in case I miss a few. Oh, wow, all right, We're fucking this up, aren't we? Wow, glad I grabbed those extra arrows, if <laughs> I missed a whole bunch there. For the burrito and for the crystal, see you in hell, Armos. All right, where do we go? I think we go down to Swamp. Next stop, it probably won't gain me time doing it since there's a lot of items in there, but it will give us a good chance of getting some other shit that we need. Namely Samaria. Samaria and Flute are probably the only two absolutely required items at this point. We need Ether or Quake to get into Mire. We'll need one of those, but we have one free chance of it being Bombo, so whatever. Not gonna be able to tell until we get the flute anyways. thing to do. You can bonk into the lever, grab it, and then start your dash back to the cell. Fucking weird. Do I? Whoops. I'll get a potion or something. Oh! Tempered sword! Hell yeah! Alright. No spin strats, Ganon. I like that. I like that a lot. Shit, man. First item in Swamp, and it's a fucking rad ass item. Also, we'll make the Argus fight that much faster. Ouch. 
20 rupees. Thanks, Swamp Palace. Because we need all the rupees. We've almost got a fucking clean thousand here. left to get though still got a chance of picking up something actually useful i mean the tempered sword is useful let's be honest but these a few other things butter sword wouldn't be a bad thing fire rod would be real nice half magic perhaps samaria of course the flute like all four of those things in the swamp right now would be just the best would just be the best at this point because that would put us in super ultra go mode and then we'd be good. Okay. Ooh. Two and a half hearts, though. All right. We'll have to be a little careful. So we have no fairies, no potions. Playing real fast and loose at this point. Ouch. I do remember to hit the switch again, right? Okay. All right. Good. We're not doing the double dip thing. Oh my goodness, Samaria. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's a real nice start. That's a real nice start. <laughs> okay. That's real good. That, that means we don't need to rely on the, uh, the bomb jump and ice palace. It's fucking great. Sub 2 dream. Uh, it's a little early to call it a sub 2. Ooh, ether, huh? That could be very important as well. Who knows? I don't know about sub 2 just yet. We've still got three crystals to get. Ow. Oh, you fuck. Still got three crystals to get. Oopsie. Didn't want to go in that one. Plus a couple items before we hit go mode, so... Cautiously optimistic about a sub 2, but... Mm, it's not a guarantee just yet. Flute would be real handy yet. I think if we got flute, we could manage to get... Uh, that would put us in go mode. I think. The roots, a bass. Uh, flute would put us in go mode, provided that we do not need Quake to open Mire. But I feel like that's asking for a miracle that will not be us. Ooh, shovel. Interesting. Okay, so that's all the items here. Let's open up another fetch questy bullshit thing for us. Ugh. But at least it's not like rupees or singular or some garbage like that something that may have use. Now we're in good health shape for Argus fight. Where are you? Yeah. Nice. Good grab. Alright. Can we silver, silver this up a little bit? Put one straight in the eye? Ah! How about that? Nope. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Fuck you, Argus. Come on. Yeah, eat shit first try. <laughs> Alright. See you in hell, Argus. Got the burrito. And there's crystal number five for us. Not bad. Not bad. So, so here's what we got, right? We can go to ice right away. 
Um, I would prefer... I'd prefer, actually, to go get a magic potion, since we're going to need to use Bombos throughout ice. Uh, let's go, then, Sanctuary for that. So we'll go get a couple, well, one potion, I guess. We've only got the one bottle. Because there's three items in ice. We don't have Fire Rod, unfortunately, and we do not have Half Magic. So using Bombos to get through it is going to be a bit of a fucking pain in my butt. Um, so I'd like to go in with just a little bit of spare magic. Or I probably could have just bought a green potion. Or a blue potion, rather. Eh, wait a minute. I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to see it passing Q back to the house anyways. Sherp, a sherp, 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 derp, derp. All right, so to Ice Palace we go. Bomb jump not required, but we may as well try it anyways, just to get some practice. Could trim off some time for us. Oh, we could get... Oh, I could have gotten another magic potion there. Well, that was kind of silly. So that uses, what, about a quarter of our magic? Just have to be mindful of that as we go. So there's at least two more spots I gotta use it. Uh, once in the double ice golem room, and then once for uh, cold stare. And I might use it in a couple of the penguin rooms anyways, because fuck them. Again, we can just do this. Okay. Need at least a couple of those, I suppose. Close enough though? Oh, just barely. Nice. Alright, we'll take it. <laughs> Penguins go extinct instead of polar bears. Are polar bears going extinct? Are they endangered? That's kind of silly. Alright, we're gonna try the bomb jump. We've got enough health to kind of handle it, but let's see if the setup that I think I know works to get like all snugged up, like right to the edge. Oops, not like that, though. Uh, right to the edge there, I think? And you kind of get one pixel there. Oh, man, that setup does work! That's fucking rad! Alright, I remembered it correctly. Ouch. Cool! Alright, we've got a good setup for that. I like that. First try. Like, literal first try, not even me being a dumb idiot. Beautiful. Fucking the best, man. One step above endangered. Oh boy. That's that's silly. Alright, so we need to use Bombos here. Ching. <laughs> Uh, do we have the big key? We do not. Alright, so we gotta do this, and then we gotta do this. So I think that'll stay. 
as we've confirmed before, right? Like that block is there for good now. So even if we didn't have Samaria, we'd be able to do this, which is rad as fuck, by the way. our health a little bit here. This is getting a little, a little dumb and stupid here. Moose. Oh, there's the big key. All right. Fortunately, no powder, so no, uh, backup fairies for us. Well, even if we could get a fairy out of that, we wouldn't be able to catch it. There's no empty bottles. Oh, nice. Good health drops. Small key here. I think we're pretty much good with what we got. We don't need any more small keys. Since we did the whole bomb jump thing, we don't even need an extra one to get down. Well, well, there's an extra one, I guess. What worries me is that we haven't found any of the items. We're still missing the... Ha! Well, there's Butter Sword for us. Excellent. Did we already pick up an item? Did I not mark one off? So I feel like there's only going to be two left. One at Cold Stair and then one in the big chest. Or, oh, one here. That's right. Okay. No, we're good. Never mind. Burrito, of course. Alright, this has been a pretty fucking fantastic route. Not the best route. I've seen some different ones where you um, kind of go back in the big ice room. Oh, there's one of the single roots. Great. Awesome. Not exactly what I was looking for. But whatever. So that's, that's a great route. That, it, did that even use any small keys at all? Besides the ones that we picked up uh, kind of along the way? We didn't even need to go for that backup uh, magic potion either. Since we are good to go. That's kind of crazy. That makes uh, Ice Palace not so terrible, if you know the bomb jump. Huh. I. Right. And we've got butter, so Cold Stare will be a soft touch. Good cold stir fight too. Jesus. What does he got for us? Blute? Oh, half magic. Okay, half magic's cool too. My goodness. There's crystal six. Now, unfortunately, it's the uh, hunt for the flute. It's the hunt for the flute to get down to Meyer. But as soon as we've got flute, we are golden. Uh. Hmm. All right, I guess at this point it's best to probably probably S and Q out, and then go Sanctuary, get into uh, get into Dark World, and start making the Overworld plays here. A lot of the Overworld plays. Like, it could be anywhere at this point, really. It could be at Catfish, which I'm hoping it's not at Catfish. It could be at Bumper Cave, it could be it could be the uh, big chest in Thieves Town. Which would really suck, because that takes a while to get to, but we'll check a few, we'll go in the Thieves Town, figure finish that off kinda. It could be Shovel Game. We'll check or not Shovel Game, it could be Shovel Spot in Grove. Uh, we'll check that when we go check uh, Cave South of Grove. 
for now, we're going to do Cave North the Graveyard and Bumper Cave. We'll check Bumper Cave. We may, may not even need to bother with it. What we got up there? Piece of candy. Ow, fuckers. Crack. All right. No Bumper Cave. It's fine. Uh, digging game we already did. Shovel spot in Grove is what you're probably thinking of. Which we will hit on our way through. Uh, maybe I'll do Catfish while I'm over here too, since that's the most out of the way at this point. I'm hoping that we won't find Quake. Simply because that would leave uh, Turtle Rock out of the pool. Oh, another, another bottle. All right, bottle with a potion. Sure, we'll take that. Um, because I do not, fucking do not want to have to go in to Turtle Rock to get the flute. It's happened to me once before. It sucks. I hate it. It's the worst. So here's hoping that we don't find Quake in all of this. Or at least that we don't find Quake uh, early in all of this, because I don't want to be redirected up to T Rock. That would suck. Uh, but let's go hit Catfish. At which point it might be faster to. It might be faster to S and Q out to uh, Sanctuary. Unless you just want to give me flute right here. Catfish, please. Damn. Nothing but a three hundo. Alright. I mean, that's fair, I guess. Just to queue out to the house. We'll, uh, we'll hit Dark World. So we can hit a couple of the other things while we're kind of on our way around. Including Digging Spot, Cave South the Grove. Uh, could very well be Bombos Tablet. Um, but we'll hit that when we do Purple Chest. Wow, there's a bunch of fairies. All right, so dig spot would be real nice. Be a real good place for this to be. It is not. It's a piece of candy. We'll ta take that because I think that'll refill. It will not. Damn it. All right, so dig spot is out. South the Grove is the Fire Rod. We'll take that. That's actually kind of useful at this point. Oh, that also opens up uh, Skull Woods for us, which is eh, well, not the greatest thing to have at this point. The fairies die when they revive you. Well, they fly off the screen. I don't know if that's necessarily a death. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, ladder, idiot. Hmm, Fire Rod also gives us a possibility of, uh, T-Rock. But, until we find Quake, that T-Rock is out of the equation. We don't have powder, so we can't do Batman. Okay, 
Big 20 and Peg Cave. Maybe they like bees. Uh, I mean, dying when you when they fucking jam their stinger into you. Yeah, I've got I've got no uh, sympathy for bees that do that to me. Sorry. They can fuck right off. <laughs> All right, were they hammering on the flute here? Dang it! Oh, the single arrow. Well, the run is valid at least. <laughs> okay. Purple chest now, so we can get Bombo's tablet while we're doing this. Then it's up to uh, uh, the big chest in Thieves Town or Skull Woods. Neither of which I really want, but at the same time, if it's in either of those places, that means it's not in T-Rock, and I would be very happy for that. And that's making kind of the big-ass assumption that uh, we're not going to find Quake in either of these two, four spots. Five spots, I guess. Gary, did you pack a flute for us? Dang it, it's busy bams. It was blue. I guess he was halfway there. How about a flute at Bombos, huh? That'd be real nice. Nope, 50 roops. Well, shit. Oh man, if Flute is at, uh, crap, if Flute is at MSP, that would be the worst. That would be the worst outcome. The worst timeline. Suppose we haven't had, uh, cause to go up and check MSP yet. But, if we get into Skull Woods, and it's not there, we're gonna have to check it out. Which means, oh, well, which means, um... T-Rock would be required. Itself would probably contribute to worse timeline, but there you have it. Alright, uh, actually no, Skullwood's first. That's at least two items. Plus the green pendant. Plus the green pendant. to go to the second half of Skull Woods. That'd be real nice at this point. The key? Alright. Something. Compass. Not looking great. <laughs> Not looking great for shit we can get out of here before we get into the uh, second half of the dungeon. Dang it, he's everywhere. Like we're gonna go to the back half anyways. Just 
20 roots. There's one of them. Uh, especially, I suppose it would be in our best interest to kill Montula anyways for the green pendant. On the outside chance that it's at MSP, or that the flute is at MSP, or that Sahash has it. <laughs> Visity bam! Sorry. Well, while we're here, let's just kill Mothula and get it over with. So that is the last item. Uh, I'd like to get across there without getting zapped. Thank you. Oh, are we gonna be able to make this one, do you think? Well, not if I don't hit the damn thing. Alright, well, we're out of, already out of it. Damn fucking Wallmaster. <laughs> Alright, well, we're kind of at a premium for magic, but doesn't matter. We've got Butter Sword, so. Quick work of this either way. Come on, you fuck. I do have a potion as well, but I'm not going to burn it on this fight. It'd be kind of silly. Alright, so Mothula's down. We've got Green Pendant. That gives us Sahash. Uh, we'll check MSP. I'm, gosh dang, I'm hoping it's not going to be on MSP. That would be very, very, very annoying. But it would give us a direction to go in, so who fucking knows? But this, then this leaves a uh, big chest in Thieves Town and Sahash. Okay, good. Whew. All right. <laughs> so, it could be Thieves Town, it could be Sahash, or it could be either of those leading me to somewhere else, which is rather annoying on its own. So it could be Powder, or it could be Quake, leading me up to T-Rock, which would really be the worst case at this point. But, closest places first. We are near to Thieves Town, so let's just go finish that off. Despite the fact that this chest is the deepest one in there, so... Sub 2 is looking pretty slim at this point. I mean, honestly, even if this is... Even if this is the flute, Sub 2 is looking slim. It could also be the case where we need Quake to open up Mire. Which would be the worst. Well, it wouldn't be the worst. Uh, simply because if we do need Quake to open up Mire, we don't need to fucking... Oh, there we go. God Pixel. Well, and then I get bopped out of it by that fucker. Fucking really? Ah, eat a shit. Um, simply because we wouldn't need to go to T-Rock at all. That's what that would mean. Which would be great. Which would be the best, in fact. But, you know... Uh, 
Anime is what caused the Brits to lose to the Americans? Uh, really? Uh, that would be quite the revelation to history. Certainly. All right, flute, 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 flute! Hell yeah! Uh, actually no, let's not save and quit. All right, we in go mode, T-Rock can suck my nuts. Aw, fucking yeah. And we're right here to activate it too, which is what makes it all the better. Please rise for our national anthem. All right, so actually now all is not necessarily well here. Uh, we need it to be Bombos or Ether to get into Mire now. Because if it's Quake, we still got some hunting to do. Less, far less hunting than we would ever want to do. But uh, let's see what we get. Let's see what we got. We're gonna we're gonna approach it as if we have the correct medallion. Because holy heck, if we do, that's great. We don't, that sucks. Eh? Yes! Ether, alright, good. Alright, we actually in go mode now. <laughs> Let's see, buck 41 go mode. Hmm? Sub 2 might still be on the table, but that really depends on how hard, uh... How hard Ganon's tower trolls us with the big key and such. Just have to see, I guess. Ah. Number three. Oh, you're making an early guess at it, huh? You'll bet 200 bucks on it, huh? That's really strong. That's really fucking strong. That's a strong guess. You sure you want to bet 200 on it? All right, I'll take that bet. 200 on number three. All right. Okay. Piece of candy. Oh, good refill. Good refill. I'll take that bet. You know what, just for grins, since we're in this room. I would hate to go all the way around. Damn it. Oh, I was hoping that was the big key. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, Sam, I'll take that 200 butt that it's uh, on number three. I don't want you welching out if it's not on number three, though. Like, this is a binding bet. Also, yes, Rip Fairy. They had it coming. The next time we're both at SGDQ. Oh, you, you shit. <laughs> no, I expect cash in the mail, is what I expect. Dang it, Arrow Cap. Well, that's all the items. Thanks, Misery Meyer, for giving me all the items that I don't need. To do a full clear of this, anyways, it seems. <laughs> Oops, ah, oh, I fucked it up. Uh, hopefully we can still make this work. Alright, good enough. <clears throat> Come on, big key. Come on, big key. I guess it really doesn't matter. It's not going to be any faster or slower if this isn't the big key. We've already made our... Already made our rounds around the entire fucking level. I've heard it to be the big key. So that leaves one, one spot where it can be. Honestly, it's just this other one out here. Ouch. Which I guess is oopsie. I guess it's kind of the worst spot for it to be. Whoop, whoop. 
I guess it's not the worst spot. It's kind of the most out of the way spot. Now the rest of this should be a pretty soft touch. Vitreous will go down super easy. I heard it banned the community that's putting celebrities' faces on porn stars, by the way. Yeah, I did hear about that. Uh, Discord, Instagram, Twitter, and now Reddit are banning all that bullshit, which is great, by the way. It's good. They should do that. That's because it's kind of a garbage thing to do. Don't be a garbage human being. cage in every movie. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm less upset about that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Four first lightning? Yeah, suck shit, Vitreous. One, two, bim boom bang. There's Crystal 7. We out. We fucking out, son. So, all right, we've got 13, 12 and, well, 12 and change to get sub two yet. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough sell. That is gonna be a real tough sell. Depending on how shitty G Tower is to us. Both the big key and Jerk Wizard the second. Heart container on our way up, too. say we're firmly in PB territory either. Simply because I know how G Tower can be a bunch of bullshit, but you know, you never know. You never know sometimes. Sure, 21025 is my PB. I wonder if that's an old one that my splits didn't save on the last one. Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so you, you remember, Sam, you bet 200 bucks on it being number three, alright? I'm gonna hold you to that. I may not be able to remember many things, but I do remember many other things. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh wow, lined that up pretty good too. Here's one and two. Oh, number three would put it on the torch. That's interesting. Piece of candy. Piece of candy. 
All right. Very sweet start so far. Number three is going to be on the torch. We got to guess a 12 from a mega weapon. You want to put any money on that? <laughs> oh, it's not on the torch. Sam, you owe me 200 bucks, my friend. <laughs> Lol. Oops, actually, I want to grab that other key while we're here. It was a key. It wasn't the big key, though. That doesn't count, man. Here's four through seven. Big 20. Piece of candy. Another small ass key. Another small ass key. Jesus Christ. Small ass keys for days, man. <laughs> Was number six a small key? I don't know. There's what, three small, or uh, two small keys in that room? The other two were pieces of candy, right? Here's number eight. Ten arrows. Dang it. I, I know this is gonna be like the high teens or twenties or something like that. Knowing how this bullshit goes. Looking good for the sub too. Fire bars, please. Here's number nine. The bloomerang. Alright, ten through thirteen coming up. It's gotta be in here, otherwise we're kinda fucked on sub two. So I think my gauntlet runs about seven, seven and a half minutes usually. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Yeah! Thirteen! Okay. That's fine. As long as we didn't have to go, like, pure right side. Or Armos or some bullshit like that. Pretty good guess, though, Mega Weapon. If I had opened those in a slightly different order, you might have had it. You might have had it. Fuck you, Mick, man. Get out of my goddamn face. These guys just somehow line up in the worst possible places. Alright, this is this is looking dicey for sub two, but we might still be able to pull it off. Depending on how swiftly our gauntlet goes here. We do have a magic and a health potion, so if it does come down to it, we will coward it out. Use a potion. Uh, alright, that was weird. Ouch. Ouch. Get him! Ah, damn. Fucking skeletons. Die, you fuck. Alright. Okay, so far. Shoot. Oh my god, good shoot. Able to complete the Celeste B Summit B-side. Yep, I did. I did eventually. It was kind of garbage, but we did it. But we did it. I can't get that for backup health, but whatever. Ah, of course he would go the other way. Fucking Lanmo. Fuck. Alright, 
they couldn't even get a two cycle land low there. It's kind of shitty. All right. There's that section of it. Time for cool guy strats. Yeah, we completed Summit B-side. We got through Core B-side. We even did one C-side. And we got a golden strawberry. So we're gonna give it another week, I think. Oops, kind of totally fucked that up. Nice. <clears throat> so we'll give it another week and see if we can do at least half of the seasides and get more of the golden strawberries or something like that. Oh, fire bar. Nice. And sick dodges. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Oh, I might have fucked this up. Might have fucked this up a little bit. Please, please, please. Ah, dang it. Can I get it from here? Oh, shit. All right. We'll just wait it out. It's fine. Try to be a little bit too fast there. Grab the emergency magic. <clears throat> Alright, heart and a half does not make me feel very good about this uh, upcoming garbage jerk wizard fight. Oops. My bombs. It's not gonna do it. Oh, frickin' go on the damn conveyor belt, you idiot. Oh, how did that not hit it? Bullshit ass. Get on the conveyor belt, you fucker. Nice. Ugh. Oh, uh, we've still got a fucking Moldorm 2 fight to do, too, don't we? Or, I'm sorry, Wormulon 2. Fuck you. Oh my god. This dude. Alright. Very good. Alright, sub 2 is looking like a no-go here. Validation chest has... Bombcat. Unless we get the perfect Jerk Wizard the second, and then a pretty solid Ganon fight. It's not looking real nice here. Ouch. Also, we gotta contend with those damn blue balls, too, so we'll see what we get. Uh, <laughs> it's looking kinda, kinda nuts here. Two? Alright, I, I can deal with two. Ah, shit. Oh, alright, fuck it. We're not, we're not risking it. <laughs> Learned early on not to risk that garbage. Oh, he was down there. Oh, what a fuck. Alright, it's okay. There's three. Yeah, sub two is not looking good here. Four. Five. Six. Damn it. Ah. Alright, there's six. Oh, then again. A one minute Ganon fight? We do have butter. We do have butter, so this... Oh, this is gonna be real close. It's gonna be real close. We gotta go straight in and we gotta hit it hard. We gotta go hard here. Oh, man. This, this could be... Oh, yeah, this could be real tense. Alright, let's go aggressive. We gotta go aggressive, man. I don't think we're gonna manage it. Not meant to have midnight snacks, and why is there a light in the fridge? That's a good question, Gan. Asking the tough questions. That's what you're doing. That's probably enough for phase three. I hope it's enough for phase three. We really wailed on him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no sub two. Even with that awesome phase two. No sub two. 
We will get a very low two, though, assuming I don't fall like a big dumb idiot. No, no sub two tonight. Oh well. Torch glitch too. Ah, dang. That would have been real hard. Real nice there. Alright, fuck face. Fuck you, Ganon. We get a 201, perhaps? Solid. Fucking solid. Right there. Alright. That's real good there. That's real nice. Two hours flat plus 57. Alright. With it. All right, I must use the restroom. I will be right back. Hopefully, I don't miss any of the good stuff. Well, I suppose the question on everybody my everybody's minds then is, should we do another? And I don't know. I don't know if we should. This was a pretty good, solid PB here. Two hours, 57 seconds, 64 hundredths. Not terrible. Certainly better than I've ever done. I'm sure we saved that. But it is awful early in the night yet, so... Now there is that. So let's check out the stats. We'll see how we feel after the stats here. Is 
Because I feel like this was a zero death run. Not even any knockdowns. And since we had no fairies ever, that would have to be the case, right? A lot of S and Q's though, since we didn't get mirror until about halfway through, and we didn't get flute until super late. But we did get a pretty early sword. I want to say like eight minutes in, we had a sword. Hookshot was the very first item in Link's house, Sonic's house, I guess. We had a lot of mobility, like right away. Boots was fairly early, even though we sequence broke to get it. Sword at 422, that's not right. Pegasus Boots at 16, that's not right. Mirror at 51, that's probably not right. Oh, well, well, Boots might be right. I don't know. <clears throat> Big Key at 13, yep, yeah, that's right. 26 S and Qs, no deaths, no fairies. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. <laughs> 